and welcome back so in this video I'm going to show you how I do my multicolored crystals and I have a work in progress at the moment where I've already done some and that is this one so you can see them there and that is what I'm going to produce now and I've got a bunch of pencils that are Prismacolors and also a buff titanium from the luminance and some white Posca pens which these are the 0.7 millimeters pin type so I'll just dive straight in and we'll get going I've also got my sharpener which I'm just going to make sure the pencils I use each time are sharp and the way I do these are very similar to how I've done the crystals and um, the gems sorry and that is just by taking a colour and going from one corner with a fairly heavy pressure and fading it out and I'll just do one bit at a time to show you so that colour was deco pink in PC1014 Make sure that you can see that there. And then I'm just going to go in with Light Aqua next. And that is PC992. And each time I'm just making sure that the point on my pencil is sharp. And I'm still going to stay in the same section of the crystal here. Just pick a different point to bring the pencil from. And this one I'm going to come right from the bottom here and the same again just fade it out and then I'm going to come in with a very light color now in the same section again and that is gray green light in PC289 and I'm just going to pick a point between the two colors and just fade that out on all directions and then you just do the same again for all sections of the crystal this time I'm using grade lavender in PC1026 and you just pick another point of the crystal and fade out And this time I'm using Light Peach in PC927. This already has a point, so I'm just going to go straight in there. And just bring that out. And I'll do that for all sections. This time I'm using Deco Peach in PC1013. Like with the gems, you can use any colour you like. You can keep the colours the same, exactly like you did for the gems. I just like the effect you get from the different colours. So I'm going in with cream now, and that's PC914. And you just keep going until you have all sections of your crystal coloured. I'm using Salmon Pink this time in PC1001. True Green in PC910. But it all depends on the effect you want from your crystals, if you use different colours or keep your colours the same. So this time I'm using Sky Blue Light in PC1086. And for me that is the last section on that crystal. So then I'm going in with my Luminance Buff Titanium, which is 801. And I'm going over the whole area it 
doesn't matter if you go over the lines or not because they are going to get covered anyways with Posca pen. You don't have to use buff titanium for this. You could go over with a white pencil or the, if you didn't use the cream on a section, you could go over with the cream. And then I'm very quickly just going to go over the rest of the crystals in the same way. With I've got lavender this time in PC934. So I also have lemon yellow in PC915. I have pale rose in PC1018. And I think that is it for all of the colours. And I'm just going to use them all to do the same with the rest of the crystals. And it doesn't take very much, it's very easy. You just remember to start off with fairly heavy pressure in one corner and then you fade out. You don't have to start in a corner specifically, like here, I am in the center of the crystal but again, I'm just fading out. And there's no specific area you need to put the colours. You just put them wherever you feel happy with. And it's also fine if you blend the two colours into one another. If your crystals are small, just make sure that you have a sharp point on your pencil. And then again, when you've done one of your crystals, just blend it all in together with the buff titanium or your white. You could use ivory if you're using polychromous pencils. You could even just use a blender pencil if you just wanted to keep the colour that's there and then just blend them in together. And you keep doing the same thing until all of your crystals are coloured. Add a bit of blues into this one. And green and yellow. Apologies for the camera shaking, I keep hitting my head off a bit. But yes, you could keep your crystals all the same colour. You could do them the same as your gems. It's the same technique that I'm using. And then I'll just go ahead and finish the rest and then when we've, I've coloured the rest of those in I'll come back and show you what to do next. Right, okay, so we're back. And you can see that I've coloured the rest of the crystal in. I've gone through all of the colours on each section and then I've gone over with my buff titanium from the luminance. Now I'm going to use the Uniball Posca pen in white 
You could also use um, the metallic colours, they come out really well, especially the silver and the gold. And we're just going to go over all of the lines that you can see that are black. Make sure that you give your pen a good shake, because that always helps the paint to flow. And then, as I said, I'm just going to go over all of the lines. This is something that normally you would probably need to take a bit of care over just to make sure that you do go over the lines because you don't want to see any of the black anymore. Sometimes it does take a coat or two because it does sometimes come through and look a bit grey but that's also fine um, it still does the effect that you're after you're really just wanting the edges to look a lot more faded out and going over the whole thing with the buff titanium also helps this section as well So you can see there that those sections do need more than one coverage because they were sections that were not covered with the buff titanium. And like I said, you just go over the whole section, the whole area where you've coloured in the crystals that have the black lines. And it's a very, very, very similar technique that I use to do the gems with. If you're adding backgrounds to your images it's always a good idea to put those on and then go in with your Posca pen because then it saves you having to go back over twice anyways What we'll do is we'll just go over the whole thing in one coat and then if it needs another one I'll do that off camera. Sounds like someone's put their music on outside in the street. Shaking the whole street. So you can see that, especially more so around the edges leading into the paper, that they will need more than one coat from the Posca pen. 
And the same as well on the inside, but that's all right. Always find that if you put one coat down, and even if it doesn't cover up very well, if you leave it to fully dry, you can then go back over again and put a whole new coat on top. Just make sure that your pen is flowing really well and you're not scratching the paint out onto your paper. Last little one. Right, so that is the general look with the white Posca now on top. Like I said, we'll leave that to completely dry. Um, and if you want to go back over again, you can. For these little spots, specifically around this crystal, I am going to use Sacra Stardust Jelly Rolls and I also have different colours of those in this pencil case here as you can see so I'll grab those right. I also have a glaze pen amongst these somewhere that one. I may very well have that in another pencil case actually. These may just be my stardust ones. Mm, I think so. Right, so because we have a fair few colours mixed already in, you could use any amount of colours and this is the range you get from the Stardust Jelly Rolls. You have two different greens. You have a light and a dark pink. Um, you have three different blues ranging from light to dark. You have an orange, a yellowy gold, purple, um, this silvery colour and red. So I haven't used red at all in there, so I'm going to put that to one side. Have used purple, have used orange. I'm going to stick this to one side because it comes out silvery black, so it's quite dark. We have used a yellow, and we have used blue, green, and pink. So I'm going to choose the lightest ones from those three as well. And it doesn't matter if you just go over the dots that are there you can even add dots in so I'm just going to do exactly the same as what I did inside the crystals I'm just going to take it in turns using the different colors and I'm just going to go over the dots that are around the outside and then we have these little dots at the bottom so I'm also just going to pick out a few of those as well. And then where you can see these colours in the crystal, so for instance I have the green here and there is a green patch here, I'm just going to dot a few around just like that. You don't have to do it on every colour patch from that one and you don't have to put loads down. So I'm just going to pop that one there. And I'm now moving on to purple and I'm going to do exactly the same just pick one or two out from around the edge do a few on the colors that are in the crystal and then just pick out a few from the bottom here just to cover those up then I'm going to do the same with orange so dot a few on the colors that are in the crystal 
again you don't have to do all of them some on the bottom there and then one or two from around the outside then the blue this also gives that nice shine when you move the page in the light now the gold yellow some at the bottom here and then the pink <laughs> apologies about that my door went so as I was saying we're just using the pink now just to finish off And again with these ones around the edge you don't just have to do just those you can do other ones around um, so some pink there and a little bit there and some down here and then again just some dots at the bottom here And then I'm just going to get a clear one. So this is a clear glitter gel pen from the Sakura range. And these last few dots at the bottom here, just to go over them again. And I'll add a few little ones just around. And then I'll do just a few of the clear ones in some of the other crystals just so that they all have that little bit of glitter and you're not going to notice this too much because it is clear and there you have it again like I said you can go over the white again just make sure that it is fully dry and in the light you can see all of the glitter making those lovely crystals shine and that is my rainbow crystals and how I do them so thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and share it about for everyone and I'll see you next time thanks everybody bye